Calling all kids who love to swim and run, Tucson JCC is hosting a national event that young athletes can take part in. Susan Frank and Coach Robin Kramer are here to tell us more about the Splash and Dash Aquathon. Also joining us is 10-year-old triathlete, are you serious? Emily <laughs> Eichelberger. I can't even get over it. Emily, you're amazing. Ladies, thank you all so much for joining us. Thank you for having thank us. Thank you. So, Coach, tell us exactly what is the USA Triathlon National Splash and Dash? Well, across the country, there's 45 sites that are hosting this. And it is really trying to get children, like Emily, into a multi-sport life. And I say life because we want them to learn to use these skills uh, throughout their adulthood as they grow up. So we want to attack towards the children yeah. and, and get them in it and enjoying it. So the splash and dash is something that most kids can do, swim and run. So we have swim and run. combined it. And so kind of stating the obvious, normally when we say triathlon, we normally would say that a bike is involved, but this one is kind of eliminating that equipment. Well, one of the reasons why the equipment uh, of the bike has, has been eliminated for this is because in order to introduce it, we just want to do the swim and the run. And when the bike's kind of thrown into it, it's a little bit more technical and not all the kids have bikes. So um, eliminating that piece of equipment brings out a lot more children. That's Absolutely. great. And and I know you did say that there was 45 uh, locations throughout the country that are yes. doing this. Is there other places here in Arizona that are also doing it besides the JCC here? Actually, it's not. Uh, we're the only one in Arizona and actually um, in New Mexico, too. Okay. Um, they're across the country. A lot of them are hosted in California. Uh, the USAT uh, takes applications throughout the year to get these set up for the season that's about five months. Okay. Awesome. So Susan, why did we want to bring this to the Tucson community by bringing it to the JCC? Well, for that exact reason. <laughs> Robin, thank you. Um, it's, we, there isn't one in Arizona or in New Mexico, and Robin has been working with us at the J, um, ho promoting and teaching and coaching um, all the kids like Emily, um, uh, called our Youth Try Team. And so she said, we should do a splash and dash. And we already have an event. In fact, I was just on here six months ago talking about the Tucson Family Triathlon. We thought perfect fit. This is a little different. I just want to point out, because I think it's important, is that it is a USAT sanctioned event. It's different. It's not better or worse. It's just different. And one of the key elements that makes it different is that it's timed. So the kids actually get to be a little bit more competitive. I know Emily's going to want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. Um, and I think it's just a different approach. Instead of just the family triathlon was like, everyone try it, do it, experience it, no pressure. This one's a little more about the sport, which leads to USAT being the organization over the Olympics, et cetera. So it's just a win for the community. It's a win for the J. It's a win for the kids. It's just... It's so exciting. That, and Well, let's get right to it. The athlete herself, Emily, why is it that you wanted to do the Splash and Dash? I like triathlons, and it's another way to do one, except without the bike. So it's competitive, and it's really easy to do. Really easy. And have you had to do a lot of training? Have you done this no, before? I've never done a Splash and Dash, but it's I didn't have to do very much training since she did it, helped me did it before, and it's really easy. It's just... Swim, get out, run, easy, fast. Well, and kids then, have all that energy bubble. Well, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I wish Training? I what? <laughs> <laughs> and then Susan was saying, this one's a little bit different. So can you tell us a little about that? They're uh, timed? They're, they're timed, yeah. They're timed. They're timed so you can be competitive with yourself, other people. And, and who do you want to um, win? You've mentioned this before. Who's Me. <laughs> If you say anyone else, <laughs> come on now, you got to be your, your biggest. There's, there's uh, another gender yeah. out there that she's after, though, which might be the boys. Boys. Oh, yeah, I just want to kill the boys. <laughs> and one of the things. Power. That, and how can we get registered? How do, the, how do parents get kids registered? The easiest thing is to go to the JCC website, TucsonJCC.org. Go to the Splash and Dash page, and there's a link. It's all through active.com. And so everything is an online registration. Super simple. Um, we want to make it easy. We will have... Um, Friday, the, the uh, Friday before the Sunday of the event, you can come to the J and actually register manually. Well, I'm going to give all the additional information. Ladies, I can't thank you enough for coming. Thank Good you. luck. 
Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> the Splash and Dash event will take place August 16th, starting at 7 a.m. for kids that are ages 7 to 15. Deadline to register, though, is the 15th. For more information, you can call 299-3000 or log on to TucsonJCC.org.